So in the previous few videos, what we've been looking at is we've been showing and then proving that e of x plus y is equal to e of x plus e of y. And if x and y are independent, then var of x plus y is equal to var of x plus var of y. In this video, I want to check to see whether e of x take away y is equal to e of x take away e of y. Is that the case? And if x and y are independent, is it the case that var of x take away y is equal to var of x take away var of y? So, to explore these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remind us of two facts that we already know. We already know that e of ax is equal to a times e of x. Okay, we've seen that. We've proved that. We've also seen that var of ax is equal to a squared var of x. So we have those two already. Okay, so let's take a look at this first statement. So let's look at the left-hand side. Now, we already know what this is in the case of an addition. So what I can do is I can say, well, that has to be e of x plus e of minus y. Essentially, I'm writing that as plus negative y. Now, from this fact up here, the minus in front of the y is essentially a is minus 1. So I can write that as e of x plus minus 1 times e of y. So that's e of x take away e of y. So yes, it is the case as we expected. So what we can do is we can write in general that e of x plus or minus y is equal to e of x plus or minus e of y. OK, now, how about var? So, if x and y are independent, then var of x plus or minus y. Well, let's go about this in a similar way to how we did uh, with e. So, if we just take a look at the minus case, so if I think about this as plus minus y, we know that this is going to be var of x plus var of minus y. Now, in this case, Again, the a is minus 1. So this is var of x plus, and it's the minus 1 squared var of y. So the minus 1 squared is just 1. So we actually get that var of x minus y is var of x plus var of y. So it's not as we expected. So let's write that more generally. So we've actually found that var of x plus or minus y is var of x plus var of y. Okay, and so they are our two general statements.